Well, this is something new, ladies and gentlemen, because there is obviously no baseball right now. We thought this would be fun to simulate the home opener at Target Field and do so on MLB The Show. I'm Corey Provis, and of course, I am pleased to be joined by the Cupertino Kid, the two-time world champion, avid MLB The Show player, the one, the only, Dan Gladden. Danny, my man, what's happening? Uh, everything's good. Excited uh, to watch a little bit of baseball right now, and I'm sure that uh, hopefully the fans as well. So sit back and uh, relax and enjoy. And here we go, Danny. Why not? Home opener. We've got number 17, Jose Brios, in the mound today. And the first batter he will see will be the A's the improved shortstop, Marcus Simeon. The shortstop. Not only so the here new team go. here, but new, new uniforms yeah. as well. What do you think hey. of those uh, powder blues? First pitch strike on Simeon. With that, we're underway at Target Field. Uh, I Jose think Barrios, two time all star awesome, guys. Four o'clock. Of course, Barrios getting the home open start right here. And nothing into the count on Marcus Semyon. Jose Barrios last year set a career high in innings pitched. He's 25 years old. And now the 0 2 breaking ball that's bounced foul behind the plate. Beautiful day yeah. at Target Field. Gorgeous day, a little bit of a breeze, but still. Oh, look at that, 62 degrees, not bad. Ooh. Look at Jose nice staring in at the home plate umpire. Corey, I think that uh, he's asking him. We thought that ball was a strike. The umpire oh, said it was inside. Well, we're just going to take a little more time. Oh, he's still, still talking, huh, Danny? Still wants to know where the strike yeah. zone is. First batter of the game. And now the 2-2, breaking ball outside. Three ball three to Marcus Simeon with Ramon Laureano on deck. Jose Barrios, averaged nine strikeouts per nine last year, walked only two in that same span. Got ahead now behind, and the 3-2, a swing and a fly ball in the right center. And Byron Buxton back will make the call to catch. And that is out number one. Danny, great to see number 25. Absolutely. Did not, not see him in uh, spring training, but uh, as number gifted 22. as he is, he's ready to play in this game here right now. Speaking of center fielders, and now Ramon Laureano, terrific center fielder himself. Had some great games against the Twins last year. First pitch breaking oh, ball misses inside. Ball one. <laughs> Mitch Garber behind the plate today. Now the 1 0, and that one is way outside. It kind of crossed up Garber a bit. 2 0 count. There's Marty Davis behind the plate. Behind the screen right there, owner of Cambria. A wonderful seat, per usual. 2-0 pitch, and there's a bell tie strike, 2-1. Danny, you know Marty well? You know, I do. I uh, don't have any of his product in uh, in my house, but I know it's uh, littered throughout the uh, target field. Matt Chapman on deck. No score, one out. In Zavier, the home opener at target field on MLB The Show. And the 3 1, a swing and a foul. And Laureano, the A's won 97 games last year, a playoff team lost the wild card game to Tampa Bay. 3 2 is chop foul. Well, it's nice to see Barrios out here and his second start. He got his first major league start last year. And he got the opener here today. And that breaking ball locks up Laureano, strike three. That curve ball, devastating. Daniel throws to both the sides of the plate. And the go-to strikeout Chapman. pitch for La Machina. <laughs> so two down, now Matt Chapman, great player. And Brio's hit him. How about that? Yeah, watch, it, watch, Cha yeah, watch Chapman as he walks the first base. That peeks out under the brim of the his first hat. Baseman. They're looking Matt. at Brio's, and he gives him a little bit of a stare back. Hit him with a breaking ball in the back of the leg. So two down, a man on. Now Matt Olson, Old Glove winner last year. A yeah, good player right here. They's uh, got something special on this guy. Oh, that's 
As Brio's just missed outside, wanted that ball. You mentioned Olsen, a good player, not just the defense, at 36 home runs. Over 91 war runs a year through. ago as Jose misses down low, 2-0. Oh. There's Rocco Baldelli looking casual. Yeah, second, second year for Rocco. Manager of the year last year for Rocco. Ball catch inside. Inside ball three. Got a right-handed hitter in Canna on deck. Let's see if Jose is going to challenge Olsen here 3-0. The opening inning. He takes a strike right down the middle. And the 3-1 is fouled back. Uh, Corey, the shadows, we've always talked about the shadows here at Target Field this time of the day. And it's queued down the line at third and foul. Jose trying to get out of this inning. And the 3-2 breaking ball. Weakly it up the middle, but through base at center field. Olsen to first as Chapman stopped the second base with two on. And a two out. The left user, number one. And now that I bring or up Canna. Canna. Canna, didn't he have the dozen? Didn't he have an injury in spring training? Limited action there. You say Another so, Dan, player. my uh, spring training uh, research is a bit uh, dated. But I will never deny, never deny your factual knowledge. So mm. Canna was hurt. I buy it. All right, it looks pretty healthy right here. Yeah. And the pitch is over the low. And now 2-1 count. Canna, 26 homers last year. Played in nearly 130 games. At an OPS over 900. And pitch, breaking ball, fly ball. Into right near the line. Kepler over makes the catch. And that's out number three. A's don't score, lead two, Twins coming up, no score on your home for Twins Baseball. All right, Twins batting for the first time here at home in 2020. As Sean Manaya is on the mound for the A's. Manaya coming back from shoulder surgery last year, came back in September. In fact, he started. The wild card game got roughed up. Gave up three homers in two innings. Leading up. As the Rays beat the A's 5 to 1. The, the wild card game in Oakland last Matt. year. Max Kepler leads off. Kepler. Coming off by far his best season. First pitch hey. is a slow breaking ball for a strike. Danny, your thoughts on Kepler a year ago? Well, outstanding. I think if you can look at everybody's breakout season that they had last year, Kepler was one of those guys that really had a good year uh, late in the season though a little bit of an injury kept him sidelined uh played in those uh, playoff games but you know spring training this year just three hits but uh you know he's a guy that uh, he'll get going here uh, kepler set career highs and runs hits doubles and the old two pitches inside home runs right rbis He came the and eighth different twin with a 30 double, 30 homer season versus Brian Dozier back in 2016. And you remember leaving spring training that year that uh, Kepler, like Polanco, had signed that big contract. And he really stepped up and performed. Big side, two and two, no score. Bottom one, MLB the show, Twins and the A's. And the home opener. And the 2-2 two -two is yeah. low ball three. Kepler Danny also didn't see this too often last year, leading off against a left-handed pitcher. But those that make this wonderful game, they know better than we about. Well, right now, right, yeah, right now they do the the, the matchups that they're going with. But, you know, we've seen a lot last year where it was uh, Kepler would drop down in the order uh, against left-handed pitching, but batting second. Strikes no out, one stop. down, no score. Okay. And now that'll bring up Jorge Polanco. In the two hole, another, switch hitter. Another, another guy, Corey, that had a breakout season last year. Very steady, 22 homers, so. Very talented player. Started it short for the American League in the All Star game. Jorge Polanco. The numbers for Polanco last year. 
Nelson Cruz on deck. And Manaya from the windup and the 1 0 swinging a liner by the tarp. And Murphy wants this pitch up. And 1 1 too high. Two balls, one strike. And Polanco and now it's two balls and no strikes. Polanco, a patient hitter, doesn't take a ton of walks, but will work the count. As he flares one to right, shallow, that's going to land for a base hit. Polanco is slicing line drive single to right, and the Twins have a man on. Batting third, Cruz. the designated hitter. And he gets Hilton. a nice hand here from the home crowd. What a Cruz. player he was last year. He'll turn 40 in July. A moment, Danny, last year when Nelson hit his 400th home run at Target Field and certainly a key member of the Bulba squad last year. Yes, he was. And, you know, we always talk, Corey, about certain players that, you know, benefit from veteran players around. I think there's a lot of young players. I think of Polanco and a lot of guys that benefited from Cruz in that clubhouse. Nelson had 41 home runs, drove in over 100 runs. But an OPS over a thousand. Steel, runner. runner goes, and the pitch is low for the second base, and Polanco is safe. So well, something hopefully we see. rarely saw last year, Danny. Polanco, yeah, yeah. any twin for that matter, running. I think we'll change that around. I think we were last in the league uh, in stolen bases and stolen base attempts. Twins only stole 28 bases as a team last year, dead last. But here's Polanco, the home opener running. He's at second, a 2-2 count to Cruz. And the pitch, a swing and a miss. He got him on a breaking ball. So Cruz strikes out. So two down, and now it's going to be up to Batting Josh four. Donaldson. The third baseman. Josh. Yeah, he should get a nice hand here. It's first at bat. Well, if you can't beat him, join him. Donaldson, a guy that always hurt the Twins forever, especially hitting here at Target Field. Aye. Donaldson takes a strike. Got a four-year contract. Twins certainly adding a huge, impactful bat, but also an outstanding third baseman. So Cruz, well, remember, Corey. Striking out. You know, he played for the Oakland A's, and his career really kind of took off when he ended up in Toronto. And then, of course, an injury year, and then signed with Atlanta, and really had another big year in Atlanta last year. And the 1-1 has bounced foul in the first base side. He was originally drafted by the Cubs and traded to the A's. He was a minor league catcher was back in 2008 in that field. And the 1-2 pitch down inside. minor league catcher and he got traded to the A's then became the third baseman a couple years later as he drives one foul <laughs> Polanco at second a 2-2 count in the first and Manias pitch he got him strike three off speed so Manias strikes out Cruz and Dalton wins lead one no score after one Leading off for the athletic, the designated hitter, Chris Davis. All right, so we go to the second, and now Chris Davis, his numbers went down last year. He was hurt, had a hip injury. As Brios goes back to work, pitch misses down low, ball one. Now, Danny, now that I think about it, a lot of similarities between these two lineups. Uh, you, have, you have a lot of firepower, a lot of home run potential. It's a breaking ball strike, and you know, Chris Davis went healthy. This guy is as tough as they come. Yeah, you look at the top bottom of this lineup here. They, uh, they've got some guys that swing the bat well, but also a good defense club. Davis sends one foul. It's a 1-2 count. No score in the second. And the 1-2 is outside. Strictly a DH for Davis, but... He's hit some big home runs for Oakland. 
No ball three, and he has power all over the field. He's not, he's not a full hitter. Three two is where? Duck swing, get him go, and that's ball four. Rio for the walk, and then for Davis on. The right field. Steven. I bring up Steven Piscotti. Garver thought that ball not so much that he went around, but he thought that was a strike. Garver looking back behind the plate. Dead ball four, so now Piscotti, Northern California native. Right handed batting, right fielder. Yep, that ball went out. Rios misses outside, ball one. That's a ball. This is high again, so Rios behind to Scotty. And this guy here, another guy that's got some power, Corey. 13 home runs last year. 17 doubles. Good pitch. And the 2 0. Swing at a fly ball into right, deep and trouble. Kepler back and will make the catch on the warning track for the out. Kepler drifting back on that ball, made a nice catch on the warning the track and right for the out. But Scotty Murphy. flies out. Davis at first. I'm going to bring up the young catcher, Sean Murphy. On the play for just 18 games for the A's last year. Runner, runner, runner. Runner goes. Pitch is a swing and a ground ball to third. Donaldson charging, fielding, throws him. Got him. Two yeah, down. You're talking about Donaldson and his gold, his gold glove stuff. Just played it right there. Batting nine. The second baseman, Tony. Well, Kemp. the former Astro, former Cub, Tony Kemp. Second baseman. As Davis leads off second, two out, no score. Rios is in for a strike. And the 0-1, that's shot foul. Let's see if Jose can put Kemp away. 0-2 to the count. That'll break him off. They save there from Bud. And the one, two, swing and a miss, he got it. Breaking ball into the hands. Out number three, the walk leads to nothing. Twins coming up in home second, no score. On your home for Twins baseball. Twins coming up in home second, and now Eddie Rosario. The left fielder. Things off. Left-handed batting, left fielder. Rosario. And Rosario, 32 homers, 109 knocked in last year. And he'll swing the bat. He does. Although he said then in spring training that he, he wants to walk more. Yep, he did. He wants to see I'm not a sure. few more pitches. Yeah, Corey, I'm not sure if that's a place you want to practice. It is in spring training. He just pitches there just trying to get the ball over the plate. The two count on Eddie. To begin the home second. Murphy sets up away, and the pitch is a swinging strike three. So a few curveballs to Rosario. Nia strikes out Eddie. One up, one down. No six. score in the second. The catcher, Mitch. Garver. This baseball brought to you in part by GladdenFarms.com. For events to your liking, check out Gladden Farms for more information. That pitch counts. is outside to Mitch Garver. Has a new number this year, number eight. He won that single digit number. And you got it. Well, Give up counts. number 18 to Kenta Maeda. New teammate. Garver went from what, 23? That was to Cruz. 18 to Maeda. And now his number eight as he swings and hammers one high and deep to center. That ball's got a chance at the wall and gone. Home run with Garver in center field. His first of the year. And it's Wednesday, the one nothing lead. 
Garber had that big year last year, like a lot of twins. Picks up right where he left off right there. Garber had a big series against the A's to open the season in that four-game set. It's his first homer of the year after hitting 31 last year. Twins take a one-nothing lead. Right, here's a guy gonna have a big year too and last year and he didn't start the season on time. Just a little time with some injuries. Well, Sano did not did you last Batting year until May when he's out. First baseman. He he As he oh, takes God. outside oh. ball one, Miguel Danny no longer the third baseman. He'll be the Twins' primary first baseman now at 20 points. Well, when you sign a guy like Donaldson, yes, and Sano was, was eager to go over and play some first base. And it really showed up, Corey, in spring training and all the hard work one ball, one that, he, that he did over there at first base. Yeah, Sano put together a huge offensive season. You know, finished with 34 home runs. And a 1-1, a swing and miss. Yeah, you can remember we talked to Maurer when he went from behind the plate over to first base. It, it was an adjustment for Joe as well. And it took him a little while to really That's get comfortable over there. Two -two, Waits for the 2-2 from Anaya. And he got him out in front, off speed. So Sano strikes out. There are two downs, wins by one of the Garber homer, and that'll bring the up the second Luis baseman. Oh, Ryan. Fun season last year for Arise. And very entertaining. Be the Twins' primary second baseman. As he swings and flares one to left, there's a base hit. We saw that swing and that results mm -hmm. on Sun last year. Well, not too many guys can come up, Corey, as a young player. Going to be able to have a great idea of the strike zone and arises. Demonstrated that. Arise at 334 at an on-base percentage just under 400 last year now. A nice... Hand for Byron Buxton back here at Target Field. TC Bear looking trim. The man on twins by one for Byron. The first pitch, a swing and a miss. Oh, and one. Shoulder surgery ended Byron's season prematurely last year. And the 0-1 just misses outside. And you remember, Corey, when he went down, he was having a great season and a lot of extra base hits, playing some great defense. OPS near 8.30 in 87 games for Byron last year, 10 home runs, and the 1-1 is bounce foul. And eyes at first, two outs, and the one-two pitch is swinging a dribbler up the third base line, and that's going to just go foul. That ball foul. There's Manaya throwing his 39th pitch of the game. The one-two. That's fouled off. From the stretch, down low. Two and two. Now two balls and two strikes. <laughs> On the 2-2, two -two, he got him. On front of uh, the changeup, so Buxton strikes out. Twins don't score. They lead one. After two, uh, target field, one nothing. All right, so here we go. We are not Matt Max Scherzer, Mark Mark DeRosa, and Dan Plezak. Or more, more handsome. Mm -hmm. We throw this Dan Gladden with you. Yeah. As great as those guys are, Danny, they're not us. They are not. And uh, see Burrell's second time through the lineup here with some of these A's hitters. And Paul one. 
see if he's settling in. It looks like he's getting his breaking ball over now for strikes early in the count. One other breaking ball there. And Semyon. And a 1 1. That's foul. So Brios has a great tempo, great pace going. The 1 2 pitch is given foul. A lot of that has to do with Garber getting the ball back to him so quickly to where mm -hmm. Rios is ready to go. Semyon late in that cut. We got a piece of it. Still a 1-2 count. Here comes the 45th pitch. Rios on the 1-2. He got it. That was a disappearing breaking ball. So Rios strikes out Semyon. Now the location of that pitch right there. Corey down the way right where Garber asked for it. I mentioned those shadow lines earlier. Danny's in the sunshine there. Shade in the back. Hey! Nice called on Loriano. Hey, Corey, this kid here, Loriano, he turned himself into a good defensive player, strong arm. And he can also, his bats catching up to his defensive skills. Around there, nothing in two. You mentioned Loriano. He was hurt last year at a right shin fracture that kept him out. The pitch is snapped to left center field towards the gap, and this will be extra base if Loriano can run as Buxton cuts it off near the wall. We'll throw it back in. So it's a one out double for Loriano. Up next for Oakland. He's had the time run at the second. Third Matt. In the third inning Chapman. for Matt Chapman. No two pitch. So now Chapman. Good matchup here. Rios hit him. The breaking ball his first plate appearance and gets in with a strike. Loriano off second. One down in the third. And the 0-1. Small hit foul. Uh, no balls and two strikes. Yeah, one thing about Chapman, no question, he, he worked hard at it. And Barrio struck him out. Now batting, the first baseman. Now, Watching Jose breaking Corey balls and two outs. He's changing speeds on the breaking ball, so he's, he's, he's locating well now, unlike maybe in that first inning. Two down for Olsen, and here's the base open. Righty and Canna on deck. Oh, this is inside ball one. Olsen singled his first time up. And the 1-0 pitch late. These have gold lovers at both corners of the infield first and third. And Olsen oh, check. Not to mention both can hit mm. combined for 72 home runs. And the 2-1, bouncing ball right side, played by Adai. And throw him out. He's out. And that's the inning. The A's lead one, Things coming up in the home third, leading one nothing. And you're home for Clint Bristol. Clint's coming up. In the home third, second the time through fielder. Kepler. Back. Then Polanco, then Cruz. Nia deals, and Kepler sends one foul. Twin scored on a Garber home run. Second. And the 0 1 pitch, a ground ball pulled foul. You know, Corey, with the addition of Donaldson, the Twins kind of look to really kind of add. He led the league last year in oh, home runs, 307. Set a single season baseball record with 307 home runs. A one two pitch was going off foul by Kepler. Hit over 290 against left handed pitching last year. And the one two pitch, a ground off from over, but the shift is on. Semyon, the shortstop over. 
Goes low, but dug out by Olsen for out number one. The batter number 11. So Good one job. away, and then bring it in shortstop. This is Cole Polanco. He reached his first time. First pitch is hit in the air to right towards the corner. Piscotty won't get it. That's a base hit. He played it nicely off the running track. That I thought was going to be at least two, if not three. But Piscotty made a good the play. The designated hitter, Nelson. Yeah. Cruz. That's a good play. Uh, let's see what Cruz can do here. Second time up, first time striking out. Cruz, out the back. Now, Polanco is on in front of Nelson in the opening inning, and Polanco ran a stolen base for Cruz, who eventually struck out. One out, one out, and the 0-1 is ooh, just outside. Height, tight strike zone. Yeah. Fastball coming up here. He wants it inside to Cruz. Did go inside and swing it a miss. It's a one-two count. And Manaya over his career, averaging about seven strikeouts per nine. And the one-two is inside. And before his shoulder surgery, he was throwing at about 91, 92 miles an hour. Hunter goes, the 2-2 two -two is fouled back. Blanco again in the move, but Cruz fouled it back. one nothing Twins in the home third. Okay, a target field. And the 2-2 two -two is okay. ooh, just low, ball three. Mm -hmm. I think Blanco might be moving here again, Danny, although Donaldson is on deck. One out? Nope. So we'll see if... Polanco is moving here three two. He's staying and the pitch is outside ball four. So Cruz draws a walk and now this is what we want to see. The Danny, two guys on for Donaldson. Yeah, that's what Donaldson wants to see also. He wants to see runners out there. Looks like he's being a little careful. The oh, Cruz and now here Donaldson. Two on, one out. Twins by one in the home third. And a 1 0 pitch. A swing of the ground ball left side. Base hit in the left field. Polanco to third, and he will head home and score standing. As Cruz tops the second base, an RBI single for Donaldson. And the Twins take a 2 0 lead. The left fielder, number 20. Yeah, it's going to get a trip out Eddie. to the mound here by Coach to talk Rosario. to Anaya. See where he's at. And that didn't last long. Anaya fell behind, and now to bring up Eddie Rosario. Struck out in three pitches. Hmm. First ah. time up. Two on, one out. A swing and a weak hit ground ball right side. The second baseman to the bag for one on the first double play. And that's the inning of the Twins at a run, and after three, now lead 2-0. Yeah, and you're home for Twins baseball. The Twins only get the, Leading off for the athletic. second run of the game and have a 2-0 lead. Here's Mark Canna. To begin the fourth. As Rios, the first pitch, breaking ball late. Swing of the foul. Look at that. Canna 0 for 7 lifetime against Rios. And the 0-1, ground ball to third. Donaldson bobbles, recovers, throws in time to get. One out, no panic here from Donaldson. Yeah, he's a veteran, Corey. He's going to hit no panic out of him. Chris Davis. Now Chris Davis, dangerous hitter. First pitch, swinging foul. And he'll still go with that breaking ball, and it's a good one. Right there, nothing in two to count. Mentioned this is the home opener 
for the Twins. They began the year by sweeping all four against this A's team last week. I got the count. They One blew them out every game. One, two, he got him. Strike three. Abrios puts Davis away. Now batting. Right field. I like Brios. He's, he's, died, yep. he's taken a lot off of his pitches, Corey. And, you know, a couple times goes the hard one, then he'll throw a little bit softer one. I like where he's missing now. When he does miss, he's down and off the plate. Two down. Oh. Pitch is outside. Keep the Scotty. Fly out his first time up. Time. St. Louis Cardinals, Stephen Piscotti. And the 1-0 pitch is lined to right, and that will land Chad Kepler for a hit. Piscotti, a two-out single. Now that the catcher. Gonna bring up Dawn the catcher, Murphy. Sean Murphy. Josh Begley is gone. So Sean Murphy getting the chance to... Nope. Work behind the plate. Scotty at first, two outs. And the 1 0 is nope, inside. Ooh, inside. Two. Now 2 0 count. To Murphy. Here's the pitch, a swing, a fly ball, weakly hit, shallow right. And it'll be at eye. Calling off Kepler. Last minute. Please lead one. We have played three and a half. Twins two. Oakland nothing. This is Minnesota Twins baseball. <laughs> Twins and the A's in the home opener. That's Heidi Watney. We're more Marnie Gellner fans, but okay. I did this a great job. But a big hello to Marnie Gellner. Wouldn't be missed dearly. Why not, why not? Definitely tuning in today. Why wouldn't you? Dan, your thoughts on Marnie Gellner? Well, I've got a lot of thoughts on Marnie, but I'm going to keep focused here on, on Garber checking it the back. Catcher. Right Homer his first time up. Robert and Homer out the berm and center. First of the year. Pitch is inside. The shift is on. Against Garver. Kemp, Semi, and Chapman. All between second and third. And the 1-0 pitch is bounce foul. You know, Corey, we talk a lot about Garver and uh, his what he did offensively last year, but you can't... Uh, you can't not talk about his offense without talking about his defense. Pitchers love throwing to him. He just cleaned it up behind the plate and really established himself as pretty much that everyday catcher. 2-2 count. count. Uh, Mitch Garver wins by two in the home fourth. Nice pitch. He got jammed, cleared it in the air to the right side of the infield. That's going to be an easy play for the first baseman. So one out, Matt Olson. The first one, so one the away. And now Miguel Sano struck out his Miguel. Done. No. Hey. Knee high strike. Oh, the big man. Down. And once again, the A's have the shift on. Outfield pulled over as well. The 0-1, about to hit the outside corner and just missed. You know, when Snow was going good last year, he was using all fields and with power. Two balls, balls inside, right. it's a 2-1 count. count. He swings and sends one foul. Good looking cut there and now 2-2. Two two. Mentioned earlier that Miguel was out until May with a heel injury last year. And a 2-2, but he strikes out here. And there are two down. Sano, though, he didn't show any rust when he was activated. The he would go after the Sano that Tommy Hogan five times in his first Rui. seven games. 
of Vargas. The two down, four at eye. Saw one pitch and singled to left. His first time up. In the fourth inning. Nope, up there. Manai misses high ball one. Luis Arais. The 1 0. The 2 0 count. Well, Danny, think about out. the. Uh, go ahead, Danny. Oh, I just think that with, with his play, Arais' play last oh, year, I think it was easy for an office to move away right from now. Jonathan Scope and also knowing that they're going to get Donaldson over there at third base to, to know it first. So CJ Crone also kind of was, was moved Perfect. on and. Both signing with the Detroit Tigers, but I think a rise play last year really kind of established himself the as the twin fielder. second baseman. Five red. A rise who walks. Okay. Had more walks than strikeouts a year ago, so he's on two outs. And now a chance for Buxton. And Byron struck out his first time up. Wins by two in the fourth. And the pitch, a line drive, right side over the head of Kemp, and a base into the right field. And eyes will round second and five for 30 is in sliding. So Buxton single, so two on, two out. The batter. And now it's a chance for Kepler to add on to a two nothing lead. Kepler. They've had activity in their bullpen. Blackburn is up. Right called on Max. Strike out and a ground out for Kepler so far today. Check on Byron. What about running here, Danny? Yeah, Buxton's great speed. Two on, yeah. two out by two. What do you think? It, 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 it's a matter of uh, Byron's comfort level of knowing the Naya's move uh, to first base. But yes, we saw Palaco steal a base earlier. But by saying at first, you leave that hole open on the left side for the left hand hitting Kepler. Two on, two out. And the old That's two is down low. Down high for Manai at 75. And eyes at third, Byron at first. One, two count to Kepler. And the pitch, a breaking ball, a swing, and a fly ball, center field, Loriano with a play. That's a nice two-hand squeeze above his cap, out number three. Twins don't score, leave a pair. Get to the pit. Two-nothing twins. So Oakland batting here in the fifth inning. As Marnie Gellner checks in with a report. From the, yeah, Marnie, uh, it does dugout. look like she's changed her look a little bit, doesn't it? A little bit, a little bit. Bob Melvin, great manager. So now Tony Kemp. Leading off for Oakland, the second baseman, Tony. You know, of course, you talk about Bob Melvin. He's been manager of the year a couple of times. Long. Time manager with the Oakland A's, then with Seattle. Oh, that's outside. And just, you know, the, the, I look back at Melvin, he was a teammate of mine with the Giants, the, the managers that he has had in his career. And what starting off with Sparky Anderson over there in Detroit. Of course, Frank Robinson, Roger Craig. Swing and a miss, a one-two right, count. Was yeah. he a guy that you thought one day was going to be a manager as a teammate? Did you see that? Uh, kind of did, you know. He was always uh, in those meetings, always with the, uh, the managers. So we here. Two pitches. Camp hammers one deep to right, down the line, and they're calling it a foul ball, but the umpires may take a look. The umpires are talking about yeah. it. I think they're going to say it's a foul ball, I believe. Foul ball. Here's the foul ball. Crowd enjoying that. The ump is having some fun too. And the umpire is going to have microphones this year. 
that uh, we didn't talk too much about in spring training to make a call about some things in the field. Ground ball inside third and fair down the line. Kemp can fly. Rosario picks it up and gets it back in, holding Kemp to a single. Yeah, Rosario's always been good now down that left field line. Kind of a, a, a tough play for a lot of guys to make. Rosario can make that play. Third time through now for Barrios. Pitch count at 72, 22 nothing. You know, I'm looking forward to that. To, to that. But also, the, uh, the the bullpen guys, or the guy coming out of the bullpen, Corey has to pitch the three batters when he comes in the ball game. Curious to see managing oh, style, that's if that's going to come into play. 1-1 one, one count to Semyon Kemp at first. And the 2-0 pitch is bounced foul behind the plate. And the 1-2, he got him. Strike three, Semyon locked up. Another strikeout for Barrios, one out. Now batting, number 22. And here is Loriano. Double back in third, one for two. Garber sets up over the plate and the pitch. A slow curveball. Strike. Two members there. Loriano, 4 for 12 lifetime. Against Jose. And the 0-1 is bounce foul. And Barrios, he has been getting ahead. And the 0-2 on the ground left side. That one snagged. That's a line drive. Biggie Harden caught by Polanco. The two outs. Now batting. The line drive out to short. So two way and now Chapman. Kemp at first. Wins by two in the fifth. And breaking ball drops in for a strike. Two for 12. Five strikeouts. Jose Lifetime against the Gold Glove winner. And third baseman Matt Chapman. And two. No ball, two strikes. Brio's trying to put Chapman away. That's down, tails high. Fourteen game winner last year, Brio's. Just over 200 innings. ERA in the mid threes. And a one two outside. Oh, Big there from Chapman on a breaking ball, two and two. I think it's easy to say that Brios is the ace of the staff here. And Full count. He said 200 innings last year, 200 plus. Huh. Got a woman. Good to Chapman to chase. Oh, he walked him, lost him. So Brios got ahead. Said Danny, patience there from Chapman. So it's a two-out walk. Now batting. Put we'll two on the and bring up the go-ahead run now. And Matt Olson. Olson. A lot of similarities with Eric Cosmer with, with Olson here batting. Fans on their feet trying to get behind Barrios here. Two outs, two on. First pitch inside, ball one. Yeah, pitch count two, Corey, at uh, now 88 pitches. Yeah, he misses. Olsen mentioned the home run potential more than 30 last year, but even his outs, a lot of hard hit balls. You know, you talk about the home runs and the hitters that uh, play in Oakland, and Everybody will tell you at night the ball doesn't fly out of there, but in the daytime, you've got a real good chance to hit the ball out. Right handed hitter in Canna on deck. Kemp at second, Chapman at first, wins by two in the fifth. Swing and a miss, went after him with the basketball. The crowd coming alive right now. They know how important this the bat is. The 24th pitch of the inning is 90th for the game. Behind 3-1. Oh, he walked him outside. A borderline pitch. Loads him up. The batter. 
the left here field. comes Canna. Mark. Johnson Canna. meeting at the mound. Duffy and Clifford up in the Twins' pen. The bases are loaded. Rios facing Canna. And the pitch is high. Ball one. Mentioned that Jose was getting ahead. Hmm. Not anymore. Canna 0 for 8 lifetime against Barrios. Here's the 1 0. Ball two. Okay. Well, Jose going to take his time there and kind of walk back behind the mound and regroup. Canna 26 home runs last year. Big pitch behind 2-0, and here it comes inside 3-0. A lot of speed stuff here. The Eagles, they were a patient team last year, did not strike out too often. Draw walks, the 3-0, a swing and a ground ball to short. Polanco has it, the second of the fourth, and the inning is over. So Brios works out of it. The A's lead three. Twins maintain a 2 nothing lead on your home for baseball. Wendell Kidd and Petit warming up in the A's pen as Polanco will bat to begin Jorge. the fifth. Manaya Stolanko. Polanco two for two today. Pitch misses outside, ball one. Polanco hit for the cycle in Philadelphia last year, the 11th twin to do that. First since Michael Kadire did so back in 2009. And the 1-0 pitch, a swing and a fly ball to the gap in left center field. That's down for a hit. As Polanco will make second base, and the throw comes in to third, and Polanco, a good start. A leadoff double. Now batting. The designated hitter. Nelson. Through. Yeah, momentum gain. We talk about it often. A's had a chance. They left three. Now the Twins begin the fifth with a leadoff double. Let's see what happens here with Cruz. He's had two rough at bats. Dials in on Mania. Bull this game open here in the bottom of the fifth. Wins by two, crowd. Gonna get behind the boomstick here in the fifth. And the pitch here's in the inside corner for a strike. Nope, ball one. One oh. Now the 1-1, one, one. Oh, check, did not go after it. And a 2-1 count. True. 401 career home runs for Nelson Cruz. Aye. Big strike yeah, two. Manaya. Manaya getting up there on the pitch count as well. So Polanco at second. And the 2-2, he got jammed, popped it up. Near the line at first, easy play for Olsen. So Cruz cannot advance Polanco, so he pops out one away. The third by base two, and now it'll be Josh Donaldson. Jump. One for two, an RBI single this last time up. Yeah, of course, big talk when Donaldson came into camp. He's wearing number 24. He had always wore number 20. That was Eddie Rosario's number. Here he is wearing 24 today, opening day. Big time All-Star. 2015 AL MVP. As he swings and bounces foul to third. Here's a note, too, on Donaldson that I, I loved to read, and, of course, we got to know him a little bit, but the fact that he's just been a postseason player so often, the 0 one yep, He's been in the postseason seven of the last eight years. Oh. 
Now the 1-1, one, one, and that misses inside, ball two. Was it uh, two years ago, maybe, that uh, he went from Toronto, I believe, to Cleveland for the last month of the season? Finished 2018 with the Indians, had a comeback year with the Braves last year. Mm -hmm. He didn't play much in uh, 2018, and the Atlanta Braves took Thank a flyer you. on him, and boy, he had a breakout year. That's a good Atlanta team. Polanco at second, full count to Donaldson here in the home fifth. And Manaya 3 2 is how he walked him. So Donaldson draws a walk. The left fielder. And he's open now the lefty lefty Eddie. matchup with Rosario. Yeah, we saw this a lot. Rosario, he loves situations like this. So here is Eddie Rosario. Is in for a strike. And uh, Eddie, and over the years, and Eddie's been out there often against left handed pitchers. He's never really been a platoon player. And the 0 1 pitch, ground ball right side, sliding stop, Olsen bobbles, and his shovel underhand to first in time with Manaya covering for the out. The Rosario the grounds out, eight. second and third, two outs, Mid. and now a huge attack here for Carl. Twins look to perhaps double their lead. Ninety-second pitch for Manaya. Oh, As Garber takes high ball one. And the 1 0 pitch is driven foul. Yeah, last year, James Rouse, remember I talked about Garver being one of the lowest maintenance hitters he has to work with. Everything he now does is it, very quiet, not a lot of movement. Two 1 pitch. Foul to back. Wins have two on, two out, leading 2 nothing in the fifth. Manaya to Garber. And the 2-2 two -two is hit foul. Got a play down the right side. Manaya from the stretch has a sign from Murphy. And the 2-2 two -two is just low. So no on deck if Garber can't extend this inning. 98th pitch coming up. Three balls, two strikes to Garver. Wins by two, second and third in the fifth. And the payoff is swinging a foul. Into the 23rd pitch of the inning for Manaya. Now that could be it. Manaya loses Garver here. And, oh, and he does. Yeah, he called it. It is a walk ball for that loads him up for Sano, and that'll maybe end the day for Manaya. First baseman, Miguel Sano. And sure enough, Manaya will flip the ball to Bob Melvin. And that'll be it for Manaya. He's coming out. Final kind of words with his manager. The bases are loaded. Your now, attention, so please. Here comes Paul Blackburn. Now for the Athletic. Third and four games the A's last year. Paul Blackburn. A small sample. Righty's hit over 420 against him. Now, Sano did not see Manaya well today. He struck out twice and now looking to have better success against the righty Blackburn. Bases are loaded, two outs. Twins with a 2 0 lead. First pitch nope, is inside, ball one. Now Miguel Sano hit that incredible grand slam against the Indians late last year. Doubleheader. 
And the 1 0, a swing the ground ball right side, base hit right field. One run scores. Donaldson to third. He'll be held. An RBI single for Sino. It's a 3 0 pass lead. The second baseman, Louis. Oh, oh yeah. I like that approach right there by Miguel. And now it's Arise. Wins by three in the fifth. And the pitch is a swing and a miss on Arise. It's an 0 1 count. Arise had that memorable eight pitch plate appearance as he came in for a pinch hitter. That Mets series at Target Field last year for Jonathan Scope. Actually worked the walk, and the 0 1 is inside. Base is loaded, two out, wins by three in the fifth. The 1 1, a swinger fly ball. Right center field, deep in the gap to Scotty. Over, won't get it, this may clear up. One run scores, two runs score, three runs are in, a base is clearing double for Luis and I. Six nothing twins here in the, the fifth. The center fielder, number 25, Byron Buckstead. No easy out in this lineup. And patience and then an eyes delivers. Oh, one, a two time. out, bases clearing double, six nothing twins. Here's Byron. All those runs are charged to Manaya. You know, Corey, similar to last year as the Twins kind of you know, would be a little patient. Count they usually have those big innings, and sure enough, right here, another big inning for the Twins offense. They seem to bunch them together. Yeah, some patience too, Danny, from the big boys, and then the bottom part of the order coming up. And delivering here in the fifth inning. And the 2-1 as Byron pops it up. Center field, Sunshine, Loreano makes the squeeze out number three. Twins go add on to their lead. They break it open after five. It's now a 6 nothing Twins lead. Leading off for the Athletic. Yeah, the Whistler and Clifford. Chris. Warming up for the bullpen, Danger. but Jose Barrios will begin the sixth inning. Pitch count at 94. Now pitching with some added run support. As he misses high ball one on Chris Davis. And, and Corey, you talk about pitch count for him, 95 right now. Finish off strong if he's just going to face a right hander or two. One oh, a swing and a miss. Garver sets up, down and away. Here's the one one. Aye. Strike two called on a sweeping breaking ball. Davis swings and drives one deep to right. Kepler on the run over his head. That ball is gone a home run. And Davis goes oppo here at the target field to begin the Oakland sixth. And the A's have their first run now. He's 6-1 game. You know, Corey, you had talked earlier about Davis and the power that he has to all field. He showed it right there. Davis, now 32 years old. He's under contract through next season. He's so strong. And that'll do it for Brios. Here comes Rocco, and he wants a right-hander. And that'll do it for the home debut for Jose Brios. So he comes out in line for the win. We'll have some baseball left. Twins had a 6-1 lead. Twins Ladies baseball. and gentlemen, Tyler. your attention, please. And now, now Tyler Duffy. The Danny will get the ball Number for the first time here at Target Field Tyler. in 2020. Duffy coming Duffy. off a breakout year in 2019. 
No question about it. Big key to the bullpen here is, is now Duffy. And right the role now he's going to take kind of more well, important or later in the ball game. And also he dropped down a little bit. Sometimes with the breaking ball, he will drop that arm slot down. 82 strikeouts in 57 and two-thirds innings for Duffy last year. And the 1-0 is high to Piscotti. You know, Corey, he became the guy that, you know, you bring into a game in a tough situation where some guys you, you, you want to bring him in in a fresh inning. And Duffy showed that he can come into some jams and be able to get some big strikeouts. Piscotti down by five runs. will be taking here 3-0. And he is, and it's a belt tied fastball for a strike. The Twins bullpen, the second half of last year, for all the talk about the offense and how tough and how good and how deep the offense was, the bullpen was really good last year. And Duffy, a big part of that. 3 1 pitch, a fly ball, popped it up. He got jammed. Room for Garver. In foul territory, makes the catch, one out. You know, Corey, with that being said, remember the first half of the season that Rocco wouldn't. The bat. Kind of list the catch a closer. John. It was kind of by committee Murphy. and matchups. And like you said, the second half of the season, guys settled into a more prominent role and they kind of knew what their role was a little bit more when they went out there. You know, Duffy and May and Romo and Rogers, that quartet mm. was really good. Second half of last year. One down, here's the young catcher, Murphy. Oh, Duffy one. spins in a breaking ball for a strike. 6-1 Twins here in the sixth inning. Now, one thing we also saw with Duffy, the velocity came up last year. Spike a breaking ball here, perhaps. And the 0-2. Nope, a fastball lifted a shallow right center field. That will land for a hit. Looked like he missed his spot. Garver wanted that one down and inside. It was in, but not down oh, enough. And Murphy yeah. exploded one into right center for a single. A no two count. And and second when Duffy first Kevin. came up, Corey, when Duffy first came up, remember the emotion that he would always show out on the mound, and he really kind of tempered that. Got it. Pound his glove and come off the field. One and one. Good pitch. One one misses inside. Now two one count. Moriano in the hole. Kent batting with Semi on deck as Kent holds one foul. Let's see the Twins can turn two here. Leading by five and a two-two pitch. He is grounded foul. Scoop by the Camberwell. Two-two. He got him. Strike three. So Duffy strikes out Kemp. So two down and now Simeon. Short foul. Marcus Simeon. Yeah, Duffy posted a career-long 24 and one-third scoreless inning streak last year. And it began July 28th and ended September 28th. One and during that run, struck out 42 hitters. The ball won to Semi, and 0 for 3 today. Twins by 5. Murphy at first. Breaking ball, low ball, too. Little pitch is it foul. Sixty-two degree day at game time. High ball three. No walks here up by five runs. Loriano on deck. 3-1 pitch, a fly ball into left center field. Rosario still going back, still going, and that's going to be in play and off the wall. Throw comes back in, cut off by Falafa, and throw to the plate will be late. It's a two-out double, run-scoring double for Semyon. That scores Murphy, and now it's a four-run game. Number 22. This relay there by Polanco to the plate made a very close. Cool. 
The A's want to get back in this game. They got the right guys coming up. Duffy can get Laureano. This is high ball one. Ball one, no strike. Laureano, one for three, doubled off Rios in the third. And 1 0. Blew it by him. I got one ball, one strike. And the 1-1 one, one is popped up in the field, right side, so no. Shifting over, he'll catch it, and that's the inning. The A's, they'll get two. And the Twins will bat in the home sixth, and now leading 6-2 on your home for Twins baseball. Wins by 4 6 2, two bottom six alongside Daniel right Ladd and Corey Provis Matt. as we simulate the home opener here at MLB the show. Hey. Hope you're enjoying it as much as we are. Well, Blackburn came on to relieve Manaya back in the fifth. The 0 1 to Max is high. One ball, one strike. And 1-1, one, one. Kepler shoots it foul. One, two is off two speed ball. and low. Two, two, two pitch, ground ball right side. From right comes the second baseman Kemp. He'll field and throw out Max. One out. The batter number 11. Of course, you talked Good about the A's last Four year, bad. 97 games. Oh, they, they seem to always find a way to stay competitive. In the playoffs, back-to-back -back years, they won 97 games last year. Polanco grounds one in the hole at short, semi in field, spins, jump throw, not in time. Polanco has another hit. Now batting, the designated hitter. Nelson. Blanco is on again, and here comes Nelson Cruz. Blackman misses down low ball one. Nelson has now ditched the sunglasses he was showcasing earlier. There you go. Lockwood first and the 1-0 pitch, a swing and a fly ball, center field, and run homer here in the sixth inning, and the Twins regain their six-run lead, now have an 8-2 lead here in the sixth inning. Saw a lot of that last year from Cruz and a lot of the Twins hitters, but He got that one up. Didn't miss it. Your attention, please. Now pitching for the athletic. Number 36. Yusmero Petit. Ah, Yusmero Petit. He's on the pitch, so Cruz ends the day for Blackburn and now Donaldson. The third baseman, number 24, Josh. Meadow Patit. Donaldson. Donaldson swings and sends one foul behind the plate on one count. Blanco getting on, Cruz homered. And now Donaldson batting fourth. The 0 1 pitch is sent foul. And Danny, the lineup that Rocco has yeah. going to again, Kepler hitting leadoff against the lefty Manaya. We didn't see that too often last year, but how much do you think this will fluctuate? Do you think this will move around a lot this year? Yeah, I, I, absolutely. I think he's gonna, it, it'll move around just like it did last year. I think Donaldson's going to hit maybe not fourth, but a lot, but more up maybe in the two slot. What you're trying to do is Good pitch right there. Oh, yeah. 
So two down, here is Rosario. Left fielder, Eddie. You know, Corey, I think that, you know, Rocco has that luxury to kind of move some guys around. You know, I'm looking for that speed guy. I know that we were comfortable last year, Bucks and batting in the bottom part of the order all year. You got Rosario. What are you going to, you know, he's usually been in that, that number four slot protected Cruz. Eddie 0 for 3 today. I think what he likes to do with the his lineup, he's got some lefties, some switch hitters, and he loves to be able to go that left right, left right combo, and it kind of handicaps what that manager can do in the other dugout. Wendelkin and Diekman back up in the ace pen. Wins by six. 1-1, Rosario pops it up near home plate. Murphy will flip the mess and catch it. And that's out number three. Twins add two runs on the 402nd career home run for Nelson Cruz. After six, Twins eight, A's two from target field. This is Twins baseball. So we begin the seventh. The third base home opener, base. and boy, Matt. Mother Nature has Duffy. cooperated. A lovely day. Twins lead eight to two. Duffy against Chapman. Oh, As Tyler back. misses inside, ball one. And the 1 0 is cued on the ground, weakly right side. Routine play made by Arise. One out. Now batter. Chapman's quiet day continues, so one away, and now Matt Olson. It's a single today. First pitch breaking ball strike there from Duffy. Oh, very the speeds with that curveball. Nope. Chuck Swing, did he go? Did, did not. Pitch was inside. A 1 1 count now to Olson. Well, Garber wants an elevated fastball, and it just missed high. If you go back, recap what Barrios did here today, oh, got the start. Takes deep into the ball game. Behind 3-1. And a line drive into center, and Byron will play this one in the bounce. There's a base hit, second hit for Olsen today. So it's a one-out single. So let's have an 8-2 lead in the seventh. Mark Canna. There's Mark Canna. Corey looking for Byron Buxton to have a breakout year, stay healthy, and just be able to play in probably 140 games this year. We know his defense is always going to be there. Uh, the most that uh, Byron's played, Danny, any one season was 2017, and he finished that year with 140 games. Mm -hmm. yeah, I think they'd be happy with that. You know, they've, they've talked about, you know, being a little bit patient or a little more uh, not aggressive near the wall. I think that's tough to do when you're the type of player that Buxton is. Ground ball and up the middle and by an eye is a base hit for Canna. A single moves Olsen down to second. So the A's have two on, one out. Twins lead eight to two. Number two. You know, they've talked about having Byron play a little bit deeper in the outfield, get a little bit closer to that wall warning track. Your attention, please. Now pitching for the now pitching change. Matt Whistler claimed off waivers. His target field debut as a twin as Duffy comes out. And Whistler, the twins, wanted to throw his breaking ball, his slider more. I believe that's an effective pitch. That's his home at Atlanta. As Davis steps in and a strike call. Davis homered off Rios out to right. Was back in the sixth inning and ended Jose's day. So two on, one out. Twins by six. And the 0-1. A swing and a ground ball. That's foul. First base line. And the 0-2 pitch. A swing and a fly ball into right center field. Byron over to his left and he'll make the catch. In the shade and gets it back in for out number two. 
now batting. Now for Scotty, one, two, three today. Yeah. Whistler, big league time with the Braves, the Reds, Padres, and Mariners. Hey, he's got experience, Corey, and they like his stuff out of the bullpen. Saw that breaking ball, that slider right there, Danny, to get ahead, 0-1 count. Yep. Next pitch, a weekly hit ball to third. Donaldson charging, field throws in time. Out number three. A's don't Please score, they lead two. T.C. Bear dancing as we stretch the field. That's an 8-2 lead on your home for Twins baseball. <laughs> Sell out crowd here at Target Field for the home opener. Twins eight, A's two Man. home runs from Cruz and Garber today. Lisa Dyes, a bases clearing double. Uh, Garber facing Petit here in the seventh. And the pitch ball is right just outside ball one. And Garber begins the year as the Twins' primary catcher. We'll see plenty of Alex Avila, the veteran of the Twins' side, to back up Garber throughout the summer. With Garber, I think that they're looking to see a little bit. Uh, what he did a little bit last year, he's going to catch anymore. Probably about 110, maybe 120 games. Yeah, two one is high ball three, and you go back, Danny, to when Garber was drafted, a ninth round pick in 2013, and you know, ask the Twins, you know, folks who were involved in the draft at that point, and they weren't sold that Garber would stick as a catcher, his professional career as he swings and misses. He really had to work in his defense, and he has taken that uh, to heart. He spends so much time on his defense, and at times, admittedly, he thought he was a liability for his pitching staff in past years. Well, he'll probably tell you that, yeah, he, he probably was a liability. He saw a lot of balls get by him, but now, with that new style of catching going down on one knee. Uh, he is just a completely different Number catcher. Baseman. Number 22. Struck Miguel. out looking, so one down. Here's Sano. No. Three RBI single last time up. You know, Corey, they would have a pitcher. You know, sometimes you have a tendency, I'm afraid to throw hey. the ball in the dirt with maybe a runner on third base, second base that he wouldn't block the ball, but that's not the case right now. They're, they're comfortable spiking a ball, trying to get the hitter to chase it. Back outside. Side on Sano. It's 1-1. Swing and miss, good and pitch. Count. One and two. And two is outside. Two, two, two struck him out. Snow so strikes out again. So two down for Luis at odds. You know the Twins, they believe could be the batting champion this year. Oh, oh yeah. Ooh. He gets hit by a pitch. Breaking ball. To... The center fielder, so number one, got him. Byron. Ran in on his thigh a little bit. He's all right. I was saying, Corey, about the Twins and A's, you know, since 2013. Twins have only had a 319 winning percentage. Today it's 15 for 32. So they've had some problems against the Oakland Athletics. Oakland's had just some really good teams. And like you said yeah. earlier, you know, Danny, the, the A's, they're a team that, you know, they may start off cold, but then they hey. find that second, if not third gear, and just seem to be relevant and seem to be contending come August, come September, year after year. No question. And, and you look at the, the type of team, you know, that they, they try to build every year. And, you know, it, it works for them. And... But I remember when they had Hudson and it was a Mulder and Zito. Zito. And once, yeah. they, once they became superstars, they would trade those players and get three, four, and in some cases, five players back in return. So 
One ball, two strikes. Really being a manager for the general managers made some good moves. One ball, two strikes to count. Byron, as he swings and shoots one to right down the line and foul. Byron batting ninth. And eyes in first, two down. And a one, two as he bounces it foul. That's the limestone behind the plate. One, two pitch, another foul. Lengthy battle here between Petit and Byron. If he can reach, Kepler on deck. Hudson might have leaned into one right there and got hit by a pitch. Yep, I got him. Okay. Yep, sure did. Got him on the elbow. Back to back hit batters. The right fielder, Matt Kepler. Byron, he didn't really step yeah. back on that one too often or too much. Take his base and two on, two out. Here's Max over four. If Kepler can add on to an 8 2 lead. And eyes in second, Byron in first. There's a strike. Well, for a while now, you know, Byron hitting ninth, and it seemed like a guy like Jason Castro, even before him, Kurt Suzuki, would always be hitting eighth. And the 0-1 pitch, and then that following hitter, you know, would always put the ball in play, and then there was that pressure on that runner in front of Byron that, boy, I better run. I better go as fast yeah. as I can because the guy behind me, he's coming. <laughs> and the 0-2 is high. 24th pitch of the inning for Petit. One and two on Max. Two on, two out. As Kepler pops it up. Chadman in with the line. They make the play, and that's the inning. Twins don't score. They lead two after seven. Twins eight, A's two. From target field, this is Twins baseball. Leading off with the Eighth athletic. inning, and Matt Whistler the catcher, remains the Sean Twins pitcher, and Sean Murphy. Murphy. The lead off for the A's. Murphy one for three, singled as a run scored today. Righty to righty. And the first pitch, a swing and a fly ball into left center. Eddie Bear made the call to catch. And that's out number one. Now, well, some of the folks have headed home. We see some of the seats now empty Second and left base, behind Rosario. Tony Kemp. Beautiful day, 62 degrees. For the How about his big fan base last year was the chance of Eddie. The Ed Heads, right? Yeah. One down, here's Kemp. Knee high strike. All ones in the count. Whistler, the third Twins pitcher used today, Barrios Duffy. Ball, that pitch is out. Huh? <laughs> Only 18,000. That's from a uh, April game of 2016. 1-1 hey. is a strike now. It's a 1-2 count. When was it we got uh, we get snowed out on the Chicago White Sox series and to make those games up? Yeah, that was uh, the year the Twins went to Puerto Rico and got three straight snow outs and then went almost six days between games and the Twins saw Corey Kluber yeah. in uh, San Juan that first game back. Check swing flare back in third, but a routine play made by Donaldson. Now batting. So two down, and now Semyon. Martin. Twins have an 8-2 lead. Well, the Twins this year, Corey, got to go to uh, Dominican for a spring training game. And That's a ball. Fun experience there. All one, no strike. Had you been to the uh, DR before? You know, Corey, I'd never been there. I've been to Mexico, Puerto Rico, Venezuela. I look forward to it. We had fun there. Uh, the Twins, uh, Major League Baseball, they did a great job. It was fun to be able to see a lot of the Dominican players come back to their hometown and see some of their family members watch them play. 
He's coming up in the home eighth, leading eight to two Ladies on your home for Twins baseball. Your attention, please. Now, J.B. Wendelkin, number 57. 27 games for the A's last year. At a 3.58 ERA, not too many walks. On the pitch for the A's, and look at Polanco's day, four for four. Not shortstop. Double, three singles, three runs. The two holes to base, which will not hit left hand. Polanco looking for a five hit game. Yeah. One thing I took away from that Dominican uh, series over there was the batting practice that uh, Miguel Sano and Nelson Cruz took over there. The crowd was just giving them a standing ovation as they those two guys hit in the same group. Just, they wanted Nelson Cruz uh, to hit the scoreboard in center field, and he just came close. And then he hit the scoreboard three times in a row, and he threw his bat up, out and said, I'm done. Uh, I've given you enough entertainment. 0-2 on Polanco. Oh, Wonderton misses inside. Polanco has two career five-hit games. As he struck out here, pitch tied him up, so Polanco denied that fifth hit. So one away, and speaking of, the Cruz, here he hitter. comes. Nelson. Oh, Nelson, the two-run homer Cruz. today. Your attention, please. Look at this. He's hitting for the twin. Oh Nelson my. Cruz is feeling fine physically, yeah. coming out for a pinch hitter. Yeah. And look at that hair. Look at the mustache, the number. Dan Gladden. I hope He's I on see the hit now pitches. for the Twins. <laughs> Look at that stance. Ooh. Danny, have you ever announced Danny? Go ahead. <laughs> well, he's got the wrist bands going. He is uh, pretty much decked out and uh, wearing the pants a little bit different than he used to. But the stance is right there. That's the batting stance on the plate and clothes. Like pretty good swing right there. Look at the flow. I'm not sure if that's the right color. <laughs> <laughs> you know? I'm staying quiet. This is breaking. Yeah, I'm going to look good. Look Danny on right Danny. Yeah. Well, high fastball on. I'm going to take a couple practice swings. And... He's looking to get something in the air. You know, it's now about launch angle. Right. And let's oh, he's... You see, he flinches oh, on the breaking ball. It's almost like he's afraid of it at times. He's got a good count right now. See if he gets something to drive. Say what? If this Gladden guy walks, though, he's running. Oh, he ain't walking. He's swinging. There you go. That's it. There we go. 3 1. He live. Knock. Oh, yeah, knock like to that. center. Now wow. batting. Third base. So, Rocco Baldelli, the reigning AL wow. manager of the year, makes a bold move. He brings out Cruz. Brings back that, number 32 in a pinch hit single. <laughs> I paid a lot for that at bat, you know. <laughs> so the Twins win the game, Danny. We This was a first for us, uh, broadcasting and a uh, simulated game. But really, things kind of cyclical in our relationship in that my first knowledge of you was from a game on Nintendo called RBI Baseball back in probably the late 80s, early 90s when you led off and the Twins were really good. And now yep. our career and our time together has come back to the video game era in that we are now working together, broadcasting a, uh, a simulated Twins game, which they won today over the A's. Well, I'd just like to thank Rocco for getting me in that ball game and uh, pinch hitting for, and, and Nelson Cruz for that matter, for allowing me to kind of take uh, one of his bats and uh, get a base hit up there. And Time of the ball. It was three hours and fifty. Was good. This minutes. was a baby blue before, and I'm glad they woke him out this year. Thank you. Well, this was uh, this was fun, and, we and uh, I would please. imagine that this may Five win some Emmys. Played. So uh, we'll probably be back and do it again. Yeah, I, I hope that we get an opportunity to do that uh, again because this is a whole lot of fun right now, especially being able to to watch some baseball here and to be able to broadcast some baseball. Well, you take care of yourself. All the best to get you and your family. And uh, we'll be chatting again soon. You got it. I'll talk to you soon, Corey. All right. For the uh, Cupertino kid, Dan Gladden, uh, this is Corey Provis saying so long. We thank you for joining us.
and we hope to see you and uh, visit with you again in the future on your home for Twins Baseball. Until then, so long, everybody.